Hey everyone, this is Jessica Brigden of Jess B Creative Cardiology. Welcome, and today I've got a fun card for you showcasing the beautifully penned designer series paper as well as the hand penned petals uh, bundle. Um, and this is all for our Creative Cardiology team blog hop. We are showcasing last chance celebration items here as September draws to a close. So I have a fun, fun, fun fold card for you today. <laughs> and like I said, we will be using uh, these beautiful hand penned designer series papers. This is one of the options that you can choose for free uh, with a $50 purchase here through the end of the month through September 30th. And so we are going to start out with a half sheet of basic black cardstock. Now this is cut at four and a quarter by 11. So we are going to take this into our paper trimmer and we're actually going to snip off a two and three quarter inch section, section. So you'll move it over to two and three quarter inches here. We will trim this off. All right, and then we're gonna take what's left and then slide this over to the five and a half inch mark. All right, this time, make sure you don't wanna cut it. So we're gonna use the light trimmer blade and this is the scoring one. Okay, so we're gonna score that there at five and a half. Okay, so this will be our card base here. If we fold this little flap over, you can see it start to take shape. All right, so what we'll do here is go ahead and insert a piece of basic white that is four by five and a quarter. And this is going here, this will serve as the inside of the card, so to speak. All right, so just a little bit of adhesive here for the inside. Okay, and now on this flap, this is where our hand pen designer series paper comes in. So I've chosen the polka dot pattern, although the pretty little leaves are, are gorgeous too. But we'll use this polka dot pattern. And I thought we'd do a fun little technique here. So I'm gonna pull in um, just a scrap piece of chipboard here because we are going to do some stamping and essentially um, jazz up this patterned paper a little bit using the flowers and the leaves from the hand pen petals stamp set. So I have got a head and I've got a little flower here and then I've put the two little leaves. I lined those up um, on my paper and then went ahead and put them both on one of the little, this is the little A block. So let's go ahead and, and um, essentially create a new pattern on our paper. So I am using Magenta Madness and Just Jade, and we are going to randomly stamp these pretty, pretty pink flowers. These are the Magenta Madness flowers all over here on our paper. So again, just kind of randomly stamping them on there. And then we'll take the Just Jade ink for our leaves. And this is why it's handy to have both leaves there on the same block because then you can uh, stamp them all at once. All right, so we're going to just come in here and stamp these pretty leaves. I guess we have to decide where we want to put them here. There we go. And we're just kind of turning it here and there, adding some fun color to our designer series paper there. I feel like we need an, an extra little pop right up in here. Okay, there we go. All right, so isn't that fun? Now we'll go ahead and adhere this to our card base, the front flap there. So this piece is cut to two and a half inches by four inches. And this is gonna go right here on that outside flap. And then, as if that weren't bright enough, we're actually gonna pull in some of this gorgeous black glittered organdy ribbon. I love that it's got that fun sparkle in it. We're gonna wrap this right around that flap. So just make sure you keep your ribbon straight there. 
Okay, I'm going to pull it right around the flap. Okay, and then I probably don't need quite that much. Here we go. Get it where you're comfortable, and we're going to go ahead and just tie a knot in this. All right. Make sure it's nice and secure. Now, I don't usually wrap my ribbon all the way around, but because this is an inside flap, um, I think it'll be a little more secure there. All right, and pull that tight. You can always shift it to adjust it how you want. All right, and we'll just trim this off. For now, we can come back in um, when we're finished and trim it up again if we, we need to. But isn't that fun? So we've got that bright pops of color with the magenta madness and the just jade, and now we've got this fun sparkle from the black organdy ribbon as well. All right, so now we need that piece that we trimmed off the front, that other two and three quarter by four and a quarter inch section. All right, this is actually, we're gonna turn this. This is going to go across the front of the card. All right, we are actually going to um, adhere it. So I'm going to use just a couple of dimensionals. You only wanna put them there along the outside edge and then what I like to do is actually go ahead and put one directly on the card front right there in the middle all right that way you want to make sure that when you do this that um you don't put them all the way across because otherwise your card won't open <laughs> so that's a trick put your third one right on there they'll form a little triangle underneath your your panel here okay so we're going to take that center it on the front of our card so there we go okay all right so we also have a another piece of basic white this one is going to layer on top this again is two and a half by four inches same size as the um, beautifully pen designer series paper but this time we're going to do some stamping on here all right, so I'm going to pull in a scrap paper as well so that we can do some stamping with our hand penned petals flower stamp. Now we could just kind of stamp this off the side and that would be fine. Let me actually, I'll just show you what that looks like and then you can um, kind of make the decision for yourself if you want to do this next step. All right, so I'm using the um, Tuxedo Black Memento ink because I'll be coloring with my blends. So this is gonna go right across the front. Okay, now that looks cute and you could leave it like that. But what I'll also be doing is stamping this on a piece of scrap paper because that way we can die cut it with the coordinating hand penned petals dies. All right, so just find a piece of scrap paper that will fit here. Okay, and then you'll run it through your stamp and cut and emboss machine with our die and then voila, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to leave the uh, chipboard piece um, here underneath so that it protects my work surface as I color. And we are going to Again, we're going to use the Magenta Madness and the Just Jade, but we'll use the Blends markers this time. So I'm going to start with the Light Magenta Madness. All right, and we're going to just color these fun, color the petals in. Get nice and nice and bright here, and then petals on the larger flower as well. Okay. There we go, just all over. Okay, really pretty. Now let's come in with the darker. We're gonna use the, um, the bold tip of this and just highlight those darker areas and you can even trace around your petals if you want. Just add an extra little bit of definition here. 
do your coloring. Okay, beautiful. Now we'll do the same thing with our Just Jade. We're gonna start with the lighter and come in and color the stems and the leaves. And then we'll come in with our darker blend as well. So these are sold in sets of two. So you have both the light and the dark so you can do all this fun shading. Now here's the dark one. Okay. Okay, gorgeous. All right, so that does it adds just an extra little something something popping off the front there, but this does help us to visually see where we want to place our words. So let's see what we have room for. I think that's going to be a little bit too big. <laughs> so let's go ahead and use the thanks that is here within the stamp set. That'll fit perfectly. So again, I'm going to stamp this in the um, Tuxedo Black Memento. Just right here. The left. Okay, so now that we've got that done, we can go ahead and adhere this to the front flap of the car right here on top. All right, we can add some dimensionals to the back of our flower here. So you can see how that's why I am. Um, use the chipboard underneath my work surface. So I'm just going to go ahead and add several of these. Okay, you probably don't need that many, but <laughs> I'm using up my sheet, so, and I like dimensionals. Okay, so we'll peel these off. And then card is just about finished. We'll go ahead and overlap this here so we've got some nice layering. Nice pops up the card and that gives a little bit of weight to that front flap as well. And then we can add, um, add a few embellishments in here if we'd like. We can actually, let's go ahead and use some rhinestones um, to pick up that sparkle from our organdy ribbon as well. All right, so we'll just go ahead. These come in small, medium, large, so we'll, oh, uh, let's just go kind of randomly placing these around. You know what, let's use a few more because I want to put some of these be pretty right in the center of the flower. And it's good to use an odd number, so let's take one more here and we'll put it right over here. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, if you wanted to, you could even color your blends or color your rhinestones with your blends um, and make them any color you like. But I kind of like just picking up that gorgeous little sparkle there. And so here you have a fun, fun fold card. We could um, even stamp. Let's, we need a little color on the inside. Let's go ahead and stamp our flower and leaves in there as well. Let's just put one over here in the lower left. All right, we'll do that. And then a little pair of, of leaves. Adds just 
just a little bit of color to it. You could even put a little bitty rhinestone right on the inside here on your flower as well. And then you've got lots of space to write your message. So I hope you've enjoyed this project uh, using the beautifully penned Celebration Designer Series paper. All of the prints are so pretty. Again, this is only available through September 30th um, as a free gift with purchase. It's a free choice. There's several options here in the Celebration catalog. So we've got our Penguin Playmates paper, Feels Like Home stamp set, beautifully penned paper, Peaceful Prints paper, Counting Sheep, The Sheep Dies, Textures and Frames, The Summer Shadows Dies are free with a $100 purchase, or Delicate Dahlias is also free with a $100 purchase. So lots of fun items. Happy shopping. I hope you've enjoyed this project and our fun fold here. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.